used to have lovely uh, tar on it. Too. Used to have what, sir? All these tar that's all peeling. Oh, off. yeah. Some didn't look like copper and therefore it stays here. Yeah. It looks like they've had a different mast on it at some stage, or is that where the jacks used to go? They'd what? Jack it up if they had the... Change the insulator? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they ja yeah, I've seen that too. I've seen there's some videos on YouTube of people jacking a mast up and changing the insulator. Nothing quite as big as this though. I mean, this is a pretty significant mast. Okay, well that's the uh, the other side of the wall there on the uh, the antenna coupler hut. That's the uh, the insulator where that uh, comes through, and it goes along here, and uh, this is where it's connected to the mast at this point here. Now it's connected to the mast at that point there and there's also uh, the other the other connection is down here where it goes on to I can't really see this LCD display but you can see that goes down onto there which is onto these onto this copper wire this copper cable here and these copper cables here and what these do these go on the outside of the mast, see that point there? So on the, uh, just off to, bonded a few inches off the mast are copper wires. And these copper wires run the whole length of the mast and they, they run up each leg. And uh, the, um, they, serve, uh, they serve a couple of purposes, these. They, uh, they lower the actual resistance of the mast and they broaden the bandwidth um, of the mast as well. They make the mast look a little bit wider. And as you can see, it's all shorted out at the moment because the station's off the air for, uh, for maintenance. I certainly wouldn't be standing here if it was running, unlike those, those numpty Russians with their plants. I certainly wouldn't be doing that. And uh, there's, the, uh, there's the insulator at the base. And uh, there, it, looks, it looks like there yeah, they've forgotten to put some bricks under that, but I'm assured that's not the case. So there we go. And there's another wire there going up the... Uh, going up the tower leg all the way up to the top you go right up to the top right up to the top 600 feet up there is the uh, is the capacity hat I want to see the bonding wires they're actually uh, I don't know if you can see that they're actually connected together I can't see this LCD display very well but they're actually connected together at certain points around the mast yeah, just like it is at the bottom. Yeah, okay. So was that part of the original structure or was that an addition? Uh, I think that's been an addition, to be honest. But then I'm not that old. Yeah. It's been here for a while. But I see that uh, it's actually sort of connected in parallel every, you know, X amount of feet. There's a wire that goes all the way around and uh, connects them all together. And I've just felt the weight of one of these insulators. There's a spare one in the uh, in the coupling unit hut. Hang on, if I can find it with this bloody viewfinder. Yeah, I don't think I can actually. No, I can't. I can't find it. But these insulators are huge. I can barely lift one off the ground. So fairly uh, fairly sizable structure. Um, Oh, okay. Um, I'll be able to uh, get you a bit of vision of that. There's one not too far from the ground, not too far away. So uh, there we go. So that's the AM broadcast, uh, AM broadcast tower, and that um, that middle cable that's coming out the middle of the, that uh, that feed point there. That uh, flexible cable going up the mast there. That's going to be for the uh, for the lights on the mast. So that nothing flies into it. Okay, well, hope you found that uh, hope you found that interesting. As always, thanks for watching.